Angel is Becky Longbell. I'm Director of Animal Care at the Humane Society for Greater Nashua. Today I'm joined with our Manager of Behavior and Training, Christian Trella. We're going to go over a few ideas and a few tips uh, for dealing with the stress and anxiety in our animals during this pandemic. COVID-19 has put a strain on all of us and sometimes we forget that our animals feel the anxiety and stress that we feel as well. Also, they're not used to us being home, so their routine is completely uprooted. So we'd like to help you help them. I'm going to ask Chris to go over a few things we can do and how we can manage. One of the biggest questions we're receiving lately is, when I go back to work, is my dog going to get separation anxiety? So I'm going to let Christian go over those tips for you. Well, thank you very much, Becky, for having me um, and allowing me a chance to share some ideas and tips um, to help us all get back to everyday life. I hope everyone is doing well and if this, you know, and everyone is safe at this current time. Animals need three things. They need routine, ritual, and rhythm. And seeing when that doesn't happen, they are unable to, they, they, they feel anxious and they feel nervous. Well, what we want to try to do is offer you some tips to try to help get them back into a daily routine and the daily rhythms when we all return back to everyday life. As Becky said, one of the biggest problems that we have tends to be the separation anxiety question. When we're all at home or with our animals all the time, so going back home is all of a sudden a sudden shock to the system of not being home anymore. So we want to make sure we offer some tips and some helps to try to help you get through some of it. So what we want to make sure we're doing, you have to realize that your animal truly has separation anxiety. All right, so separation anxiety can range from moderate to severe. And what we want to make sure is, are they truly showing these types of signs or is it because of another reason? So first, we need to make sure is the animal isn't bored. So we want to make sure that we give him things to do with a bunch of toys. He doesn't have his excess energy all built up. So what we want to do is we want to give you these different options that you can give your dog when you need to make sure that he's got things to do when you're not home. So we have a couple of different items here in front of us. Um, we have calms, which you probably heard. These things you can usually stuff with peanut butter or some sort of thing. And it gives the dog some time to practice and try to get that out as opposed to just running rampant and not sure when you're coming home. These things are also very good. Um, what they do is you're able to hide treats and food inside of them and the dog is spending time looking through it as opposed to focusing on your sofa or focusing on something else. Um, if your dog has a lot of excess energy buildup, that might also be create a problem. So in other words, if your dog hasn't been exercised and is home all day in the same house, in the same place, he might start destroying things. He might start going crazy because he's got all this energy built up, but yet he can't release it. So these are just some ideas that hopefully can help you if you exercise your dog, if you run them outside, you take them for a long walk before you go to work, hopefully some of that will help cut down on some of, the, on some of those issues. Second, we need to determine if the animal needs meditation at all to help calm him or her down. So take you to your vet, you think you might, you know, you might have to go to your vet and your animal is showing signs of super stress and not really able to calm down unless you have assistance. So if the point with the animal is at the point where he or she may be hurting herself, definitely call the vet immediately and see what you or she can discuss various options. And thirdly, the last but not least, you can also try this while you are home. What if you try practicing leaving the room? Instead of leaving for an hour, you might leave for a few seconds. If you leave for 5, 10, 15 seconds, and then returning to the animal the following in those 15 seconds. When you return to the animal, don't make it a very big deal because if you make it a big deal, the animal's gonna see this as, oh, he's finally home, and you wanna make the animal think that it's not a very big deal when you return. All right, so you can try doing that. Play with the duration. Try playing for three minutes, try leaving for 15 minutes. Try leaving for, next thing you know, the animal's gonna think that a minute is an hour. And if you continue to work on that, gradually, make sure you leave though, because if you being home all the time is what creates the separation anxiety. Okay, so those are some tips. Hopefully they help you out, and uh, I'm going to turn this back over to Vic. So we are here if you need us at the Humane Society. Um, you can call any time that we're here and open, and we'd be glad to advise you on any behavior issues you're having. Um, again, he had mentioned there's lots of toys and things to do for animals. 
at home while you get, get yourselves back to work. And don't forget the cats, because the cats can use a snuffle mat. They love treats and they love to find them. And there is working treats that they have to actually work to get their food out on these various things. Same thing with a big dog, or if you have a very big cat. But um, just remember to keep them active and busy. Their mind and body has to be busy, just as us. And we're here. Call us anytime, 603-889-2275. Thank you.